Your words don't matter. Talk so nice if you want. But it don't matter for victims. It don't matter which you say. It only matter which you do. Peace, compassion, decency is not something that you preach. It is something that you act. It's not something that you say. I say all the time. I be for peace. I be a pacifist. What do you mean? What word means for the victims? Nothing. Saying that you've been a pacifist and you oppose violence. Make the world not a better place. Opposing unnecessary violence with your actions, like uh, being vegan. Yeah, that made the world a better place. Work me out. Veganism don't only affect you. If veganism only affects your life, I don't care. Because I don't care if you make yourself sick. But in order to make yourself sick, you have no right to exploit, enslave, murder, and commercialize other living beings only for your. most basic needs. Animals want not to be your food. And you can choose to not consume animals. So why make excuses for it? Also something like 70% of all the greens, all the mice, all the soy compete is fit to livestock. Even the American Council for Agriculture and Technology acknowledges that America can feed the whole entire planet, something like 10 billion. It's the amount of animals killed in America and in humanity in America consumed around something like 20% of the animals raised to food. But only about something like 5% uh, like of the human population. Imagine, you don't have my eyes out to figure out this. Imagine how much land we can give back to other, all the other species of earthlings on this planet. All the other beings, prisoners of the splendor. How much rainforest can we give back to the animals that live there? All the insects. The orangutans, the chips, the gorillas, and all of the other species that live there. How much um, last fossil fuels we will use um, if we not uh, eat animal products? The animal agriculture industry is responsible. Accordance to the World Watch Institute for something like 51% of all the human made global greenhouse emissions. All the forms of transportation only 30%. So
and then we have now to look uh, so to the problems of the water pollution caused by animal agriculture worldwide something like yes, 500 thousand ton of sh shit is put in the waterway any two seconds it creates ocean dead zones diminishing diversity on this planet humans have to learn to live in harmony with the three laws of equality First, that the strength of an ecosystem is dependent on diversity between species. Second, there's a limited amount of resources. That means a limited amount of grow. All species are interdependent on each other for so far. And no one is an island on its own. No other species. All are interconnected. Maybe in a way we not understand as human as humans that are being connected. To the smallest, to the biggest organisms. My fight plant one of its life's ecosystem. Very essence. There is not one species will not benefit from the existence of phytoplankton because they're being responsible for something like 70% of all the planets. And the only reason that there is life in the first place possible on this planet. There are Diminishing since the industrialized revolution. 50 years or something like 50 years ago. After World War II, when all the businesses get huge amounts of sound of money to rebuild their businesses and make them even more dominating. So world is not only humans. This is a whole complex biosphere of all with many kinds of species all work interdependent with each other. Even we are not one single organism. We are something like 700 to thousands types of bacteria being found in the human gut so we ourselves are actually we and not one so maybe with the kings and queens in the old time say it's not so weird when they say we been opposed to it if you understand what I mean veganism can people actually give people actually the chance to do something about the problems on this planet all animal pro uh, the problems of the animal agriculture industry are all connected uh, between all systems of human uh, destructiveness. Animal agriculture exploits people in poor countries where they are uh, forced people to work on the plantations so that they can sell it for too small uh, money to the West so that that, they, so that they can feed that feed to livestock and destroy rainforest that is not for humans. The rainforest is the land of the 
gorillas or the jaguars, uh, tigers, etc. It is their land. It is not yours to take, humanity. This time do you come to humility. Instead do you play on lip service. I know. And our culture is not responsible for any problem on this planet. Uh, not for the diamond industry. As of your right. As far as I know. But they are at least responsible for 90. Maybe 95% of all the problems on this planet. This is one. Domino effect. It is one butterfly effect. One essence of one problem activates one other cater. So, your words don't matter for the victims. Make your world maybe a little bit better and a little bit easier. Chosen. Don't change anything from the victims. So, place yourself always in the position of the victim if you choose right from wrong. That's how we can bring peace on this planet. Not by uh, praising selfishness, um, praising competitivity, praising capitalism. Capitalism, in its essence, uh, is the philosophy of capitalizing. Capitalizing comes from the Let's go from the words capital or capital and cap means uh, exploiting actually. That's what it technically means. It's one of the translation from the Latin in the most uh, believable. So, are you ready to do something? I want you to just apply lip service to all the injustice of the world. And not even try to do the least you can do, which also been the most powerful thing you will maybe do most likely ever in your whole life. You don't realize how much this will prevent, how much suffering you can prevent from the suffering of the animals in the rainforest. <laughs> I'll slant the stone for making place for feed for livestock to all the people that have been exploited and their food is by unfair um, an unfair working food system uh, go to the first world or matrix so, and that's also the reason that we that there are 82 seconds when child starve on the invasion. Instead, that that all this food is feeds to starving children, the West feeds it to livestock. At least 70 percent people. You are responsible. You pay the people. That's how capitalism works. You pay for the business. Business stay in office, actually. <laughs> so you can say, and the business get more get money to buy the politicians. We vegans have not so much uh, propaganda money. In contrary with the meat there in industry. I'll make the claim that since human bodies make it up from a lot of protein, we need a low amount of protein, particularly from their source. And I make also propaganda that since human bones uh, exist for a lot of percent uh, from calcium, we have to eat a lot of calcium. Even uh, the lands and counters where they eat the most amount of dairy products 
of the highest chance of osteoporosis, both fractures and even cancer. So, where are your strong bones? <laughs> Yeah. Next time that some vegan says something to you that you don't like. Maybe you have to look to yourself. Let me people that uh, do the best to make them, do the best to uh, make the world even slightest better. When you do so, yourself nothing to make this world a better place. They make you just as dishonest as Donald Trump. Which is compared where I say to um, the social justice activists um, and autistic people, uh, gay people, uh, trans people, uh, that, they, uh, that he wants to protect them uh, from <laughs> the KKK. And, and all right, uh, etc. And then um, when I talk to when he talked to them, he said the direct opposite. If you search on him, you will find something. If you want to see it, but that's how the being how the criminal game works. The criminal paparazzi game. The legal game. The mind make right game. If you are not a victim, not to mention it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it become pretty easily to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence. Say that their life and don't matter at all. But when you are not the victim things a lot different from that you know? and you want to let it change but somebody say enough is enough this will stop now no place we vegans we defend innocent life what have a pig a turkey or cow ever done to you to deserve internal damnation and internal suffering. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's the most saddest part of it. There's no justification. It's not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits. To deny other animals their freedom, so that you can harm, them, slave them, torment them, exploit them, commodify them, like TV sets and cell phones, couches, and guitars, or a piece of art on the past. That's not what rights are about. That's injustice. Make a plea. Upon us for your way you love living. Understand? You not can be always right. Evolve and go vegan. Peace begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. You are can talk so nice if you want. But if your actions are not similar, like your words, it don't mean anything. It means absolutely nothing. I hope you make the right choice. Put in the description if you want that I talk about some topic next. Maybe you have to do a soul one about the problem with being uh, with souls. Maybe. 
tell me in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up.